all right guys welcome back to the channel if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button um, this is going to be the weekly fishing report for Monday September 20th to Friday September 24th um, shooting in a little different location today obviously and I'll get into why later but let's go ahead and jump into this all right on Monday September 20th I actually went fishing in the evening um, I don't typically fish up in the evening I usually do it every morning but I ended up sleeping in that day so um, but got out there pretty good conditions not bad um, again everything over that bar hardheads just lots of hardheads lately but but they did progressively thin out as the week went on but um, caught several hardheads um, threw some cut bait still targeting reds and that, that was my primary targets on Monday were reds and pompano um, a lot of cut bait hooked up a lot on the cut bait just couldn't get anything in uh, ended up being a lot of big lady fish uh, i was using pretty good size circle hooks so they weren't really able to stay on there lady fish do stay on circle hooks pretty well but this was a big circle hook so they were able to pop loose um, to reduce the number of hard heads i was catching i was throwing mostly fish bites on, on a on a couple of rigs i was throwing out um found a more on that but but it was still pretty slow um luckily uh, before the night ended i caught the fish of the fish of the evening it was a huge pompano uh, biggest pompano i've caught since the spring it, it, it was awesome uh, while i was fighting it i actually thought this might have been a nice slot red um got it in close saw it was a pompano gave myself a mini mini anxiety attack thinking i was gonna lose it but luckily i got that guy in and and he he made the evening i mean a lot of times one fish can really save the evening and, and he absolutely did that all right on the morning of tuesday september 21st um did a lot of walking i, I walked pretty far just to read the structure on the beach just i wasn't in a rush to get set up um, I jumped around a lot. I did. I, I set up on a couple different cuts, a couple different sandbars, just just seeing what was around. Um, the hardheads did start to thin out Tuesday. Absolutely, um, it wasn't just every couple minutes wasn't hooking into hardhead. So so that was nice for a change. Uh, hooked into several remoras, um, and it seems like I'll go two three weeks without catching a remora, and then I will just catch remora nonstop and. And that's how that was for a while there. Um, watched a guy fishing down from me. He he didn't have much luck. He he fished for a little while and he ended up packing his stuff up and calling it a day early. Tried ghost shrimp for a while. Just wasn't really getting hooked up on ghost shrimp, which kind of surprised me. Usually, if you're throwing out ghost shrimp, your your odds increase for catching quality fish, but it just it wasn't happening. Um, Went and scooped up some sand fleas, threw those out for a while, caught a couple hard heads, uh, caught a blue runner on them. But it, it, it was overall, it was a pretty slow morning. Um, so I was actually getting ready to pick up and, and ended up finding another really nice pompano. Not, not as big as the one Monday evening, but, but a solid pompano for sure. So he kind of salvaged that morning as well. And Wednesday morning, September 22nd, um, had a trip booked. Uh, awesome guy, Johnny from Kentucky, brought him out there. Um, it started off slow. It was neat tide, water was flat. Uh, I, I kind of got nervous when I saw how flat it was. Um, we started off, we, we threw some cut bait on a, a, a pretty solid cut, not a great cut, just due to how low the, the tide was. No luck there. So we didn't spend a whole lot of time. We jumped over to the sandbar, um, caught a couple dinks off the sandbar. Uh, actually, I think one was remora. Um, but I did find a lot of ghost shrimp on there, so pumped up a lot of ghost shrimp. Uh, um, after we gave the sandbar a little while, I said, we got to move. We got to try to find some fish. And that's exactly what happened. We jumped over to a cut a little ways down the beach and, and hooked up on fish pretty quick. Um, found some really, really nice lady fish. They, they put up a fight for Johnny and he enjoyed that. That's it. And that's the thing about lady fish. Even if they're not a quality eating fish, they, they fight hard. They're fun. I call them hillbilly tarpons. I, I have a blast catching them. 
Um, also found a, a, a really good size whiting up real tight to the beach in this cut. So that was nice starting to get a, a little more variety of fish we were catching that day. Um, and uh, finally started finding some pompano. The, the pompano were out deep. I mean, it, it dang near as far as I could throw. Uh, and, and Johnny got the pleasure of, of fighting pompano and they, and they were fighting perfect. He'd get them in real close to the beach and then they'd take off on a really hard run and, and he had a blast catching those pompano on Wednesday morning. So, And that's another thing. Um, the pompano are really starting to show up in numbers. Now is the time, if you're, if you're gonna start chasing pomps again, start it now. It, they are gonna start showing up more and more. Um, and you never know how long this fall run's gonna last. You can catch pompano year round. Um, not always in great numbers, but the, the numbers are absolutely increasing. So definitely if you're gonna target pompano, get after it. Thursday, September 23rd, had another trip booked. Um, and I was nervous for this trip because I, I, I noticed how flat Wednesday was. I honestly thought the, the gulf was gonna look like a lake. I didn't think there was gonna be any wave action whatsoever. Um, met a really nice group of people from Indiana um, and that's where I'm originally from. So that was something in common we talked about for a while, but met them at their beach house down there in the Fort Morgan area. Ran down to the beach um, and surprisingly there was a lot of surf action. So I thought, all right, this, this is gonna be a decent day, I believe. Um, but we had a really strong northeast wind uh, a lot stronger than i liked and that's why i thought the surf was going to be so flat but it wasn't there was plenty of wave action um, started off struggling unfortunately and it was the first cold front of the year and i don't know if that's what really slowed the bite down but could not find anything out deep. Uh, the only action we got was up real tight to the beach. It was where a, a trough and a cut met. Um, and that's just where the action was. We weren't, I don't think we got a single hit out of any distance whatsoever. Everything was right there where that trough and, and cut met. Um, caught, caught several whiting, not, not a ton, but, but enough to, to keep you busy after a little while. Um, throughout cut bait, just the the bait stealers were thick that morning. You, you'd throw out cut bait and, and it was picked clean within minutes. I mean, I, I threw a, a fish head out there hoping to find a find a, a red, threw crab out there hoping to find red. And I, I bet after five minutes, those things were picked down to everything that could be ate. There was not a, a shred of meat left on them, so. But again, everything was super tight that day. They, they did get a handful of whiting to keep, so that's a plus. Um, did find one small pompano in real tight. He, he, he wasn't a keeper, so he went back. But again, more pompano being caught. So definitely, definitely start targeting, start targeting pompano. I'll spit that out. Start targeting pompano now if you're gonna do it. All right, Friday, September 24th. I did not fish. That's why I'm sitting here on my back porch, unfortunately. Um, my oldest daughter decided she was going to be up puking all night. She puked in her bed. Um, so we brought her to our bed to sleep and she decided she was going to puke in our bed multiple times. So, so I didn't get up and fish because I was up all night with her changing the sheets five or six times. Me and my wife, neither one of us got any sleep. So. It is what it is. It's a small price to pay to have wonderful children like I've got, so I'm, I'm not gonna complain. It's missing one day of fishing is not gonna hurt me. I'd rather take care of her anyway, so. But that is gonna wrap up the weekly fishing report, and until next time, I'll see you later.